we're going to look at division now as grouping. So here I've got the calculation 8 divided by 2. So I'm going to use counters first of all. I need to have 8 counters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got 8 counters. Now this time I'm going to put them into groups of 2. So each time I'm going to have 2 in a group. So I'm going to have 2, another 2, another 2, and a final 2. So I can see now I've got 1, 2, 3, 4 groups of 2. So 8 divided by 2 equals 4. So let's look at another calculation. 18 divided by 3 this time. And we'll see why grouping is really good. So I don't want to have to get 18 counters. I don't really want to have to draw them, but I'm going to for this one. So I can think, is there a better way? Is there an easier and quicker way using what I already know? So 18 divided by 3. I'm going to put them into 3s. So again, I need to count 18, but each time I'm going to just put three of them together to make a group. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I can see the groups that I've made. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So altogether I have 6 groups. 18 divided by 3 makes 6. If I have 18 and I split it up into groups of 3, I get 6 groups of 3. Now, if I don't want to record that, because when we get bigger numbers, that's lots of crosses to be keeping track of, we could think about counting in threes. This is telling us to count in threes. And we need to count in threes until we get to our starting number here of 18. So if we look at what we've done, we can count in threes. Three, six... 9, 12, 15, 18. And then we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That was 6 threes that we counted. If we can count confidently, we could do that using our fingers. So I'm going to count in threes until I get to 18. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So I counted six lots of three, and that was my answer. So let's try one more calculation without using crosses or dashes or whatever to record. Let's just work it out by counting in those multiples. So let's do 45 divided by 5. OK, so we can see this time we're going to be counting in 5s because we're putting what we start with into groups of 5, 5 in each group each time. And we have 45 altogether, so we're going to count in 5s until we get to 45, keeping track each time we count to five on our fingers to see how many fives it takes us to get to 45. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So I can see 45 divided by five is nine. 
I counted five nine times. And that's my answer.